Hello everyone and welcome to a very special video blog for the Film Feast. I'm about to go wait outside of a movie theater for about a day and a half for Star Wars The Force Awakens. <sighs> I've got my sleeping bag, I've got my overnight bag, and then at some point I'm gonna come back to my apartment and get a couple of outfits for a change. Like I've got my Poe Dameron outfit, I've got my BB-8 uh, Christmas sweater, and then I've got my Captain Phasma t-shirt. So far, I don't know exactly what to expect. I did a little bit of scoping out of the movie theater, and so far, there's nobody there. It looks like me and my buddy might be the first people in line, which is like, weird. I guess we'll, we might start a trend, maybe? I don't know. I'm, a little, I'm really nervous. I have no expectations of what's going to go on. I don't even know if the managers or the security at the shopping center where we're going to is going to let us sit down overnight. So who knows? This might be held off until tomorrow. This is crazy, right? I feel crazy right now. As it turns out, the shopping center where we were going to wait for the movie at will not let people start lining up until 7 a.m. the morning of the showing. That doesn't totally ruin my plans. It actually kind of solves a lot of problems that we had in terms of logistics with do we have to take shifts and sleeping? Do we, you know, when do we go eat, go home, run an errand, so on and so forth. But it creates a small list of minor problems, mostly how many people are going to already be here at seven o'clock in the morning. I don't even know if anybody is going to be there at seven in the morning, but rest assured, I will be. Okay, so I don't need this, and I don't need this. I'm pretty happy about this, to be honest, because it solves more problems than it creates. Granted, those little problems that I mentioned earlier are still prevalent. There's still the possibility that once we get there in the morning, there's going to be a whole group of people already waiting to stand in line. But for me, it's better this way, because it is very humid outside. I don't know what it's like where you guys live in other parts of the United States or the world, but in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, it is sweltering outside. It is unbearable to be out there for more than an hour. Ever since I left the movie theater, I've been running errands, and I can just say that I'm happy that I am not waiting outside anymore, and that I can just have the rest of the day to do whatever I need to do. I got my ID renewed. It's, it's been a good productive day thus far. The fact that I would have been waiting outside of a movie theater would not have alleviated me to doing all of these things. Also, I know for a fact that I'm gonna get a better night's sleep on this than I would on this. So now that I don't have as many things to worry about except for what time I'm gonna wake up in the morning, I can get a good night's sleep, be well rested, be fresh, ready in the morning of the 17th for Star Wars The Force Awakens, I've done my prep work, I watched the original trilogy, I'm just ready for the movie, as I'm sure many other people are. So the next time you'll see me will be tomorrow morning, I will be standing in line at the movie theater. Okay, so, finally, it's happening. I've already got one compliment on my costume, and uh, just about to go walk up to the theater. I didn't see that many people waiting in line already, so feeling good about today already. It's like 7.15, 7.20, so I'm in for a good 12 hours, I hope. I am definitely the first person here. I get, I get that honor of being the first person in line at my local movie theater for Star Wars The Force Awakens. And I already just came to the ugly realization that my uh, costume is uh, kind of falling apart a little bit. But it's, it's held together by hot glue that I, you know, had put on two months ago. So it's kind of no wonder that it's starting to decay a little bit. And I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot because I'm like, I should have reapplied some hot glue to it last night. I didn't. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and get a friend to bring some hot glue by because I don't want this thing to fall apart before I get other people to come and see it. That would just be a bummer. I added on a little rebel emblem just for added added flare, literal flare. Here's hoping that I don't fall apart, come apart at the seams, because that would just break my heart and my costume. Hour two, I'm still the first person here. Yeah, yeah, pretty fun. Good stuff. The birds are here now, so that's exciting. I had a dad and his daughter come up and take pictures with me, so that was pretty exciting. I haven't had that done since I was at a convention, <laughs> so 
cool. Don't poop on me, birds, please. They let us in the theater around 11 o'clock. It's, it's like 12.45 right now. We are in the 7.30 2D showing, and then the line across from us is the XD 3D showing. So things are progressing. Apparently, they're going to let us in the theater around 4.30, 5 o'clock. So we'll be able to get our seats locked in, and I'm excited. I'm ready. I've gotten a lot of compliments. It's been a very good day. I changed my outfit and we're gonna be headed into the theater pretty soon. I'm with my friend Joyce. We're both very tired. Yeah, and there's other friends here too. I don't wanna turn the camera around. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be headed in pretty soon and uh, yeah, exciting times. I could use another coffee, Red Bull, Monster. Red Monster. All three at once. <laughs> It's over! Oh. And it was pretty damn good! It was wonderful! Hey, you guys remember who died in that movie? <laughs> yeah. Nobody! <laughs> Round two. Two. At 2 a.m. At 2 a.m. Finally done. It is 4.30 in the morning. It has been one of the longest days of my life, but I can pretty much say one of the most fulfilling because seeing the movie a second time was absolutely necessary. I know many of you are going to see it a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 20th time. I'm going to go see it probably two more times while it's in theaters because it is a great Star Wars movie. I, I don't have all of my thoughts together just yet. I'm going to formulate a review which will come out in a couple of weeks. I also want to do a review and see it with my mom. I want to try and do a review over Skype with my nephew and my brother. So do kind of a multi-generational Star Wars review. I think that'll be pretty fun. Hopefully I can get that done. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this little vlog which has mostly just been me standing in line waiting for a movie. A great movie, but a movie nonetheless. <laughs> That's my life. This has been Sam Donches for The Film Beast. I'm signing off. Good night.